بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so which means in this scenario what i'm going to do is i'm going to form the neighbors not with the physical interfaces not using this interfaces i'm using the loop back interfaces of the router 2 router 3 and the router 4 so any loop back you can use i'm using loop back 0 here and as a part of my topology every router have this loop back pre configured so what i'll be doing is i'm going to remove the bgp on all the routers so don't use this remove commands in your production networks in our lab scenarios this is fine because we are trying to reconfigure the bgp but this time i'm going to reconfigure with the loop back interface so again this is a recommended practice uh, 99% of the time you always use loop back interfaces but there are some few few things you need to consider while you are doing this so let's start with router 1 router bgp and peering with router 2 same as and then router 3 right router 3 and then router 4 now in terms of advertisements you can advertise uh, any interface whichever you want like let's assume that this is the public ip it's not exactly a public ip but i just wanted to advertise this network so if we just quickly summarize the configurations here now on the router 2 now router 2 will be peering with router 1 router 3 router 4 and advertising the 20 dot subnet and on the router 3 we are peering with router 2 router 1 and the router 4 loop backs and on the router 4 this will be the configs like router 2 router 3 and the router 1 right so i i just got this in the notepads just to make it quick so we'll go to router 2 the router 1 already we did so we'll go to router 2 and quickly copy paste this configs now this is going to be on the router 3 and this is going to be on the router 4 here so i removed bgp already and will reconfigure so basically the the best practice you always prefer to form the neighborship with loop backs and the good thing about the loop backs is they are not connected and mostly uh, they are logical interfaces they will never go down unless you do shut down and as long as these loop backs are reachable which means let's say if you have three paths any one path will be working all the time right mostly all the three paths going down is something rare now once i do this configuration so now i'm expecting some kind of neighbor relationship here so how to verify that if i say show ip bgp summary so i'm expecting the neighbor relationship but here you can see i'm trying to form the neighborship with router 2 router 3 router 4 and you can see the state is either ideal or active normally so whenever you see the state whether it is ideal or active means for a long time means there is some problem so there are few troubleshooting things we need to check most of the time like troubleshooting wise there are few things you will check like you you might be configuring the neighbor peering in the wrong address like sometimes we end up typing the wrong ip address sometimes this happens like in my case i don't think so the ip address seems to be correct or sometimes you may end up configuring the wrong as number so if you try to see here the configurations either you verify the ip address here or you verify the neighbor as as numbers are same right because sometimes instead of 500 you may type 10 extra like 5000 or maybe just 50 or sometimes instead of typing 12.001 you may end up typing 1.1 so if you miss type the ip address or the as numbers that might be the possible issue so in my case that's not an issue here if you check on all the routers we did the configurations correctly uh maybe there is a mismatch of as number that's something we already discussed or maybe the neighbor do not have a neighbor statement 
Like sometimes what happens is you you do configure the neighbor command here. You say neighbor 12.001 here, and you forgot to give the neighbor command on the opposite side. So in that scenarios, you send the open send message, but you will not get a confirmation because there is no neighbor statement on the opposite side. So sometimes you forget the neighbor command. That might be the possible case. In our example, these three are not the problems. Now, the most likely reason here is the fourth issue. The neighbors do not have a route for the source IP address. So whenever you are doing some troubleshooting with BGP, like in our case, you can see show IP BGP summary and you verify the neighbor state is ideal or active. The first thing you have to do is you need to check the reachability. Try to ping. So if you're able to ping means we have a reachability. But if you're not able to ping means there is some reachability issues. Like in my case, even if you try to ping to 13 also, the ping will not work. Even if you try to uh, ping to 14, that will not work. Now, one of the reason you need to see here is reachability. Because the router one, in my case, the router one is going to send an open send message. Open send message is just like, it's going to tell, hello, hello 12.001, I'm your neighbor. Okay, it's going to send the open send message. But the question is, do the router one know where is 12.001? So the router one should know where is exactly 12.001. Because in this example, we are trying to peer with an IP address which is not directly connected. In our previous example, we have we are peering with this address, right? Which is connected. So the router one knows where is 1.1.1.2 immediately it will send open send message and you get a reply because you are peering with connected interfaces which are directly connected so they know each other if you remember also we formed the neighborship in the previous lab with this address and this address we have advertised in bgp if you remember in my previous lab i said advertise van interfaces also through the bgp advertisements the router one also know about router three and that's how they form the neighbors in the previous lab but in this lab, the router one do not know where is 12.002. So the confirmation is ping. You can see the ping is not working. Even if you want, you can go and check the routing table because you know the basic routings we discussed. In order to send a packet to 12.001, the router one should know where is 12.001. That's something the router one should know. Okay, so which means that there is a reachability issue. But now you can say, what if I advertise in BGP? Even if you advertise in BGP to a lot network, that's not going to work. Because once they form the neighbors, then only they will exchange the routes, right? So in order to form the neighborship, there is a dependency, the reachability. So in these scenarios, mostly in the production networks, if you remember, I I explained in the previous class as well, you will be running your own organization and you will have plenty of routers connected to each other. And to provide the reachability, we'll be using OSPF or EHRP routing protocols, right? So which means you will have OSPF running or EHRP running in your network, which is used to provide the reachability between the networks. But you will be running BGP on selected routers, maybe this router and this router, and maybe this router. Let's say they are connecting to some service borders. Now I want to run IBGP between these two. What I want to do? I want to run IBGP. And mostly we use loopbacks to form IBGP. Because with loopbacks, as long as you have reachability from this path or this path or this path, the neighborship will be up. But again, the question is, the loopback reachability is only established if they're reachable. They must be reachable, right? The neighborship only comes up when those particular loopbacks are reachable uh, with each other. And this reachability is provided by advertising the loopback interfaces 
in my example, I'm using loopback zero. So we need to advertise this loopback in OSPF. So which means when you advertise this loopback in OSPF, now this router one and router two, they know each other loopback via OSPF. And that's how they are reachable, which means the neighborship will form. So even though we are running BGP here, you still depend on IGP, that is your OSPF, IGP. Here I'm not using the word IGP because IGP, BGP, you know, these are kind of similar rhyming words. So instead I'll say OSPF. But when I say OSPF, it's not just OSPF, it can be ISS routing or it can be EHRP, it can be RIP routing, any, any routing protocol. Okay, so the same thing applicable here in our scenario as well. Now this is a kind of a real production network, how it's going to be. In my example here, the same thing is applicable. We need to advertise the loopback interface in IGP. So don't just advertise only uh, loopback. Of course, in the production network, we'll be advertising the LAN and the WAN interfaces. Okay, because, because here uh, I'm advertising everything here, but in the production network, this will be advertised already. The main thing what you need to do is you need to make sure that you are advertising the, the loopback interface. This is important. Let's do the same thing on the router two. So I'll just advertise everything, okay? Just to make it simple, uh, advertise everything. Zero, zero, zero means advertise everything, which means it is going to advertise all the interfaces. So don't, don't do this in the production network. Here, just to make it simple, and faster, I'm using this command, which means not only your loopback, all the connected interfaces, everything will be advertised. So I did not do this. I just wanted you to know the dependency. That's the reason I did not configure any IGP. Now, you will see the OSPF neighborship will come up. You know the OSPF, we are not getting into the OSPF here. Of course, I need to say, uh, router OSPF one here also advertise everything. I think I need to advertise one in four. Anyway, I'll, I'll just give all so that all the interfaces will be advertised and slowly you will see the OSPF neighborship and all comes up. Okay. Uh, between one and four, I can see the neighborship, but not between one and two, because if you remember, I, I did shut down this interface in my previous lab. I did that right. So the main thing what you need to uh, keep in mind here is we need to make sure that we are advertising the loopbacks along with LAN and WAN interfaces. Because when you advertise OSPF or any other IGP protocol, you will automatically advertise LAN and WAN for communication. Because without WAN, no neighborship will form. Without LAN, no communication in the LAN happens. Additionally, what you have to do is you just add that one loopback interface, which we are using for neighborship. In my case, I'm using loopback zero. If you want to advertise other loopbacks also, it's up to you. But the main thing you need to do is whatever the loopback I'm using, that loopback interface has to be advertised in our case. So now if I say show IP BGP summary, the same thing here, as I said, loopbacks must be reachable in order to send the unicast messages, which means the router one will try to send an open send message to 12 dot network and the router two also should know how to send back the confirm message to router one loopback. So, so in simple, you need to make sure that whenever you are forming the neighborship with 12.001, you should also ping from your loopback. So both the loopbacks must have reachability. So in my case, you can see we do have reachability through OSPO because you, you must run any kind of routing, whether it is static routing or whether it is any dynamic routing we use. Normally we use dynamic routing protocols, especially in the bigger scenarios, we don't use static. So make sure that you're advertising that loopback interface so that it can send the BGP open send messages. Uh, to fix that, we advertise that loopback interface inside the IGP here. 